Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays XCOM Enemy Within. We were one day away from completing our access lift. This was gonna be important for us. Oh my god! <laughs> I have my volume up a little too high. I was like, da da da! Eight things finished at like exactly the same time. Carry on, my wayward son, Dr. Shen. Let's see what we've got going on in here. Now that we have this, I wanted to get another thermo generator constructed here. So we'll do some quick excavation. Um, I got the satellite uplink wrong, and I apologize for that. Apparently, I was supposed to put them in different places, but, they, you know, life goes on. Now, also people told me that in order to get the foundry, you need to research experimental warfare. It's not from building a workshop. So we definitely should not build a workshop unless we need one to have more engineers or we want to build things faster. But for now, it's it's unnecessary. Skeleton suit's going to be done in just over a week. Uh, then we'll do experimental... Uh, God, they took 120 credits from our crash res or cash reserve, not our crash reserve. Um, might as well send out... Oh, the last time we sent out a dude, they got killed. So I'm thinking maybe we... Uh, well, I guess we don't have one laser pistol anymore. We send out this dude instead of our high-quality sniper for whatever reason. So, you know, go ahead on the mission. That's fine. If we do another covert, operative, uh, covert operation now, that's fine by me. Council's requesting our presence in the Situation Room. Sight... Oh, God, no! <laughs> oh, no, it's the Newfoundland mission. I totally forgot about this. Launch mission. Oh, are we going to send the A-team? Of course we're going to send the A-team. I forgot about this one. So this is... Uh, I picked the wrong day to stop sniffing glue, man. This is going to be a heck, heck of an episode, probably. Um... You know, definitely we want the units that we've been taking so far. Our assault is actually out, and we have no other assaults. Is our mech, yeah, our mech trooper is injured. Bullet, Bullet Sponge is still injured, so we'll send out Pyotr Cheraponov. I guess we should take our best support. I go through the same process every time, but I'm, like, always surprised. <laughs> I kind of want to take like a third, um, a third heavy, but I guess it's in our best interest to take uh, another sniper. But man, I don't know. I actually, I do think we take another heavy. Do we have another? Uh, we have an exalt heavy laser. Oh, so we can totally use that. That's awesome. Uh, so we can actually get all of our heavies outfitted with something that allows them to shoot decently. What's your, uh, what's your damage with the exalt heavy laser? 5 to 7, 9 to 11 on a crit. Versus... 5 to 7, 9 to 11 on a crit. I mean, I assumed that it would be the same chance, but I, I wanted to make sure. People are mad that I'm taking a grenade on my sniper. I guess now that we have a double tap, it might not be the worst idea to take the scope on the sniper and give Zhang the frag grenade instead. Because, I mean, the thing was, like, our sniper was never going to be able to use the frag grenade. But it kind of made sense for me to keep it just in case I got flanked or something like that. It would get some guaranteed damage. There was no reason to give them a scope because Shang got uh, more uh, opportunity cost or opportunity value, I guess, out of it. Uh, and I guess a med kit could have been better, but, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Okay, just making sure. You got the rail gun. I don't believe I've taken that away from you. No, you're fine. Okay, you're good. Might need a laser pistol. No, you already have a laser pistol. Nobody else needs a laser pistol. The heavies can't even use it. Everybody has carapace armor. Carapace, 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 carapace. Yeah, okay. Good. Uh, let's launch. Scared shitless. Uh, took a lot of explosives because we get a lot of chrysalis pods here. So, we'll take the 85-hour flight to Newfoundland. For whatever reason, apparently it's faster to take that flight over Europe than it is to uh, take it across the Pacific Ocean. Fair enough. Canada's a big country. The Pacific Ocean is pretty big as well. Drop site for this operation will be in Canada. This is the mission where I lost my sniper Commander, like three campaigns ago. Investigate some unusual activity taking place near a small I'm, I'm scared. I think I should be scared. Local Pop the door and see if we can gleam some information here early. All contact was lost from the ship, the village, and the rescue team itself. Strike one will need to move in. I hate this mission. <laughs> you, I'm still listening to the briefing. But I hate this mission. I remember, I remember too much about it. I probably shouldn't be uh, getting so much vision 
But I know that there's like a there's a weird time constraint on this mission as well. Like you're supposed to sort of do it quickly because there's like endlessly spawning chrysalids if you don't. Moving out. I'm gonna send our sniper up on this uh up here soon. For now though, just chill. This is like a weird sniper's nest, it doesn't seem like a great sniper's nest. Oh, take a deep breath. This one could be like an hour long as well, and if it is, this time I'm, I'm not gonna split it in half uh, on my own end, I'll split it in half on YouTube later so it can be have a more like natural kind of like ending point. Don't say zombies near my position, come on, Just don't patronize me. Good hit. Classic. I mean, it's classic difficulty, but also like, nice, nice job. Well, he can take another move, but I don't think he can actually attack. Thank God our sniper's here to get the job done. Critical hit took off 40% uh, of his HP. Okay. Well, I don't really want to take the shot with our sniper. Maybe I do. It seems like a 100% chance we get a kill. Only takes one action. Uh, our sniper can't do anything else because there's no enemies to shoot at. So it's kind of a waste of... Uh, of double tap, but whatever. Oh, hello! <laughs> Long time no see. 100% chance to hit, so Zhang, no matter what, will be able to get the kill if we want him to get the kill here. There could be, like, maybe we actually want to get the kill if possible with our other heavy. That way she can have a better chance to level up. I think you just, you know, reload. Everybody that hasn't shot stays on Overwatch for a turn. Other units can reload. So far, so good. Big thing, we haven't used any explosives. And I think that's important. Um, so that I... Uh, I can use those for bigger pods. Good thing about Zambros... Is we don't really have to worry too much about cover. Same with Chrysalids. Uh, they're, not, they're not taking shots at us, so... You know, what do we really care? I guess we're gonna push down this side. You know, I, I, Bush League mistake for me, I think, would be to... Uh, to try to, you know, take too many different paths at once. You know, try to, like, fan out and see the whole level. This is a structured level. Like, we know exactly how it's gonna look. We know there's a weird, like, fishing, fishing village in here. I don't wanna say weird, but, like, it's, it's unusual in terms of, like, XCOM maps. It's unique in terms of XCOM maps. Um... You know, just throw our, our mech, like, here for now. Hopefully it doesn't crack a pod. Alright. Everybody can overwatch for a little bit. Maybe it's not endlessly spawning chrysalids. Maybe it's endlessly spawning zombies, which is actually a much better setup for us. Because the zombies are easier to kill. They're slower. I think they, they don't turn us into zombies when they hit us, which is a big deal. Alright. Our mech runs forward. And encounters nothing. Sniper will probably be one of the last units I move. Because we know we're not gonna, like, breach line of sight on any other enemies, we are fairly safe to come up here. Actually, Sniper I'm gonna move right now. I'm gonna put him here so that he can get up on top of this fishing village in the next, uh... In the next action, and then maybe be in a good position to take a shot in the future. This is full cover. These units can go through the window, so this is full cover. And poor Zhang gets to be kind of the whipping boy and only have half cover, but we're pretty unlikely to run into enemies right now anyway. So far, so good. Two zombies dead. Everybody's at uh, full ammo, except, oh yeah, no, including our sniper. Our sniper, who I mistakenly thought would have uh, the ability to get on top of this building, but can't do so without dashing. And the dash is a risky move indeed. Moving out. Why even have a door? I guess this is like, it's a fish market, so the door is where you come in and then you sell from there. That makes sense. Probably better to have our sniper up here then. So I'm actually going to move them right here and hopefully not regret this. I mean, we have so much vision, I'd be surprised. Make a small move. Uh, 
about you. Um, just post up here. Again, cover doesn't matter that much as long as we don't pop a pod. We might as well just keep our units close together so they can actually do something. Three heavies might be a little overkill, but we'll... You know, that's a mistake I'm willing to make when we don't get uh, a bunch of zombie corpses. That's fine by me. Okay. Again, just a position that doesn't... That doesn't put our unit too far out of the system here. Oh, we got a zombie. That's just a zombie. No chrysalids. Beautiful. That's uh, pretty much the ideal enemy turn for us. We lose two... Oh, we lose two uh, ammunition to kill an enemy. It's very positive. Zhang has a shot. 84% chance to hit. It would be great if we could only use Zhang and get the kill. Nine damage. Man, he has been lights out so far. And he will be lights out again. At least lights out for this zombie. Okay, so Diaz is an important move for us. This isn't a dash. And we can leave him here for a long time. Nice. Didn't get any vision either, which is, is either good or terrible, depending on your perspective. Basically taking a turn to reload. Move into slightly different positions. We're going to take this one slow. It seems like taking it slow is actually the right course of action. Even though, when it, does it, is this the shark that just explodes into zombies or chrysalids in front of us? Can't recall. Let's uh, play it smart, throw a, throw a battle scanner up here. See a big old cloud of red mist over there. That's a little frightening. Nothing. So our sniper's turn is over. Take a big move. Leave your other units back here in relative safety. Good, 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 good. We do need to tackle this building. That should be our next uh, priority. Cover at this point basically just serving as kind of logical movement points. That was unexpected. Three chrysalids. That's a big deal. Um, I could not be happier that they've chosen to all clump together. I'll tell you that much. Now, our... Our mech, unfortunately, is pretty much only going to be useful... Probably a frag grenade more so than anything else. Zhang's got some pretty good chances to hit. This this feels like Shredder Rocket time to me, basically. Tiny Break Studios does four damage with it. Doesn't hit any of our own units unless they miss, which would be real problematic. But let's see. We'll start with the rocket. And then I'm thinking we just send our mech in with one more grenade. And this is the whole reason we took kind of an explosives-heavy team. Wait, do we have a... Where's our other unit? Yeah, I was looking at our our other heavy to see if maybe if she can land this and get uh, three kills, that's probably going to be really great for her experience in the future. So let's have her throw this in there. That's what I was thinking. She has earned a promotion. She deserves it, quite frankly. Uh, three chrysalids killed with one grenade. That's a solid place to be. That's not cover. No fisherman, but something about that shark just doesn't look right. Don't do it. Don't do... Okay. <laughs> Overwatch. Um, that shark's going to explode on this turn, I think. Or it's going to explode when we get close. Yep. That's new. One chrysalid is not that bad. We're kind of knocking it out of the park right now, if I'm being honest. Like, we are getting exceptionally lucky... The double tap just lets us use one unit's turn to completely kill the chrysalid. And we're kind of balling right now. And we're Dr. Ballin'. There's your XCOM shirt for today. Ballin' like Ballin'. No one would buy it though, because everyone hates Dr. Ballin'. I sympathize with Dr. Ballin', even though sometimes it seems like she sympathizes with the alien and tries to give you, like, bad advice. Um, in order to, you know, prolong their chances for success. She's doing her job, and, you know, she's lived her whole life in the pursuit of science, not in the pursuit of murder. What you realize, uh, eventually, as you play more XCOM, is that murder is the only way to actually get what you want in this game. And, you know, of course save the human race. That's, that's a pretty important part of it as well. Units that, 
um, have ammo, will use their ammo. Or will use their ammo to overwatch. Everybody else, reload. Everybody else, overwatch. 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 And maybe give you a little bit of an overwatch. Now that I think about it, maybe I should have let my mech trooper get the extra experience, because they need to level up as well. Apparently we see something. None of our units see it, but um, it, it's there, I guess. I'm gonna try to stand, like, right here, so if something pops out of the shark, I can kinetic strike the shit out of it. Nothing. We know this barge is, is fucky, though. If this shark explodes, I'm gonna be fucking pissed, man. <laughs> I will also be very... Oh, that's XCOM about it. But I'll, I'll be I'll be very slightly displeased at the very least. And this map got a little bit of snow on it. Previously, we were in the Yukon, and it was just, you know, beautiful summer. It's beginning to look a lot like July. Sure, it's on every shore. And it's scooby dee doop be doop be doop be scooby doop be doop There's lyrics here. Everybody overwatch. Particularly because I think that this, it might not be a shark, it might be a barracuda or something. I think it's going to pop open with a chrysalid and we want to be able to kill it right away. It's beginning to look a lot like chrysalid. Derelict barge. Lots of sharks in there, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I think you do. <laughs> Literal sharks. Um, name of my intramural badminton team. No, 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 wait. Yes, okay, Tiny Brick Studios. I thought you were the sniper for a second. I got very confused. Nice. Only a little bitch takes a staircase. I've been playing Rainbow Six. If you get the opportunity to vault, you fucking vault, Shang. Zhang. I don't appreciate that. I'm not trying to mispronounce your name to make you feel bad. That's just my own. You know, I grew up in a small town that was like straight up 100% of my graduating class was Caucasian. All right? I didn't get exposed to the cultures of that age that would allow me to, you know, be able to express those phonemes with my pharynx, larynx, and tongue. That's the name of my intramural volleyball team. So I apologize, but I'm trying. I'll try better. Already hit a zombie. Uh, didn't kill it. Nice little belly flop there. He knows how to vault. Sniper does not have a shot. Someone will, though. Just this guy? Well, take the shot. It's not an enormous miss yet. As long as we can still get eyes on the target, I'm fine with that. This actually, The fire actually hurts us. I don't know how many times I've been burned by that in, in Enemy Unknown. Ah, oh, shit. This, okay. Now, now we got issues. Issues that may or may not require tissues. First things first. Zhang takes care of this. You missed a lot of rockets, Zhang. What does a rocket do? Four, uh, I think we're going to do the same thing. We'll do rocket. Shredder rocket, I should say. Followed by a frag grenade. I think that hit exactly where it was supposed to, so I'm not mad. There's no point for our sniper to take that shot. If the frag grenade's gonna land, even better. So that's another three chrysalids down. That's six chrysalids, you know, maybe four zombies. Still not concerned. We have we have a support who should have a pretty good chance of landing this shot. Where it will become a problem is if the support can't get in here. Let's start with our heavy. They are gonna earn a, a level up, but our support is a little bit more valuable, to, to be honest with you. Um, well, the other thing is you're like, okay, the overwatch is important here. So if we if we can't land the shot with our support, it's a great chance to. Wow, that's so bad. Uh, then the Overwatch becomes incredibly important to stop the zombie from murdering or at least touching one of our units. So this this is gonna be a, this is gonna be weird. I really didn't expect two times eighty five to miss, but it can happen. He took his first action. Second action will trigger the Overwatch. Oh, nicely done. I'll tell you one thing. This vessel ain't seaworthy anymore. Okay. Every unit that has shots. 
We'll take a turn to reload. Just come up here, Zhang. As long as you, anything that stops you from running through the fire is fine by me. I do believe, if I remember correctly, that this mission culminates in all of our units running for their lives. So... If possible, I'd like to keep our units close enough that they could get back to the Sky Ranger in, you know, maybe two or three turns. Let's get a height advantage here, see what's going on inside of this place. I'd say we found the source of our infestation, but this is worse than we could have imagined. If the chrysalids are using that whale as some sort of hive, who knows how many offspring they could produce? That's a great sound. Reactivate the ship's transponder. Our sensor readings are picking up a whole lot of activity to initiate the ship's transponder. I think you're about to have a lot of company to initiate to airstrike, Nothing then report to the e the LZ. We'll All right, that's what we got to do. We got to get up there. So we're almost like we send one of our uh, one of our units to die. I remember this part. Okay, so the unit that we will send to potentially die is definitely our brand new. Uh, our brand new heavy. Okay. So I'm so, not brand new, but this is like their first mission, probably. But they did great at the academy, I'm assured. I think we'll still be able to get them out of here. I remember one time, man, I used my sniper to totally do this. What a dumb decision. We don't care, cover doesn't matter that much. So we're just posting ourselves up in such a position that hopefully, you know, we'll have eyes on units and be able to be able to hit them. No, don't run through the fire. Oh, that's... Nice job. Nicely done. I'm very pleased, actually. Uh, it, it's like this weird balance where I could possibly just send in one unit in here, the the squatty heavy, and probably sacrifice them. But I truly believe that we can make, get that unit out. We're going to send them up on a covert op right now and try to deal with the chrysalids that are going to spawn now that we've discovered this thing. One chrysalid per turn, not a big deal. Two chrysalids per turn, not a big deal. Three chrysalids per, per turn. Uh, it starts to be like a pretty big deal. Moving. You're my dog. Absolutely. Height advantage, 74% chance to hit. Stay on target. Good hits. Sucks that we still have to get a shot in there. Life goes on, I guess. Well, that's why you keep uh, these supports around and you're happy to do so. Good aim. 79% chance to not disappoint me. Well done. Okay. So far, so good. She's not going to trigger a chrysalid in... If there's a fucking chrysalid driving the boat, I'll eat my death. I deserve it. <laughs> they, The aliens have shown that they are the superior species at that point. Um... If not, though, then we should be able to get through here. Gun it. You know, let's not say gun it. You are surrounded by, like, a combustible tins of oil. So let's uh, cool it here a little bit. you got to be more uh, precise with your diction. Yeah, this guy jumps up on top. I'm going to be real sad. Oh, my God. You have a shot. How are you the hero that we need? Even though you've only wounded it. You get double tap. You got a 100% chance for the kill. Roman Diaz has come to us in a fever dream and given us the victory that we have longed for for so long. Okay. Next turn. Jane Cook. Oh, well, we're going to have to do an extra move, which is dumb, but... Ready to fire. Jane Cook... Mad respect. An outrageous level of respect. Because this is, you know, not the typical first mission for an XCOM rookie. The typical first mission for an XCOM rookie is like, oh, you got an assault rifle and there's uh well, she's a squatty, technically. You got an assault rifle and there's uh, sectoids with 3 HP. You know, go buck wild. Not that it's easy. The lasers make it easier. Okay. This is good. Kill one, please. That's outrageous. We have a guaranteed kill um, with you if you have two hits. You can take two shots, so you will kill this chrysalid. That's huge. 
It would be nice if you could have critted, but you can't. Uh, oh wait, he doesn't have ammo? Did that actually use... That actually used the last remaining ammo. Okay, well let's take care of this before we trigger the uh, next wave. If there is a next wave. Good. Tiny Brick Studios comes through in the clutch. We're going to move in as far as we can, because we want to be able to kinetic strike if possible. Just kinetic strike the whale. Kick the shit out of it. We can't kinetic strike it. 91% chance to hit. We'll kill it. Ruthless. And then we get ready to run. <laughs> Out of the game. On the move. The ship's transponder is active and transmitting. You need to get moving, strike one. That whole place is going up in a matter of minutes. We got eight turns. The eight turns is a long time. We have a new objective. So far, I'm very, very pleased with the way this mission has gone. Basically, you're going to run as far as I can make you run. Will there be chrysalids? Fuck yeah, there's going to be chrysalids. The hope, maybe, is that our... Uh, our sniper... Might be able to kill one per turn. But we have to... There's like a one turn lag time on it. Because they have to reload. On the move. I am dashing as well. And that's like... That might be a little bit of the wrong decision. We might have way more time than I actually like am anticipating right now. But uh, better safe than sorry. Okay, you are obviously reloading. You got more than enough time. If you don't have enough time to get out, we got serious fucking issues. Because you are the closest. So you will make it. There's no, there's no questioning that. Our mech is as far away as you can be, basically, from the, the evac site. But they also have uh, a ton of uh, movement allowance, so I'm less concerned about our mech. I'm really, like, only concerned about our squaddy. All the squaddies at the party in the Newfoundland Harbor, yeah. Nuking barges, killing insectoids in a mech, shake your booty, yeah. Who likes to rock the squaddies? Assuming you can run up this direction, I would like. Well, you know, ah, uh, ah, just go as far as you can go. That doesn't look untraversable to me. I'd be real sad if that ends up being the case, though. I can't afford to lose that heavy XL to LMG. Oh shit! They're they're popping. This is where our sniper just stays behind and covers our tracks, if they have a shot. Okay. Well, I knew. What did I tell you about that shark? It wasn't looking right. My god, Loki is just... He's the hero we've always needed in XCOM, but didn't know we needed. Just cut him in half. There's no reason to take the shot if we don't need to. If we can just instead get to the evac site, what do we care? And we got tons of turns. Like, we have so many turns left. Double time. I'm working double time at the destruction line. Just a one of a kind. That's a... Uh, she shook me all night long. She smoke grenade me all night long. Doesn't really work. But smoke grenade kind of sounds like serenaded. So you get where I'm coming from there. Okay. Basically, just take the fucking almost hypotenuse here. Put yourself as far away from the chrysalids as is conceivable. I'm definitely not leaving Mr. Mech behind. He's been, a, like, the greatest savior a family could ever ask for. He doesn't give a shit about the fire. Good job, team. Whoa, that's a heck of a move there. Yeah, that's real close. Okay. <laughs> Probably try to try to take a shot with somebody then. Loki is not going to get hit, so I think it makes the most like he's not getting killed this turn. But he can only take one shot, so that's a little that's a little fucky. Tell you what, let's um let's take a half move. We have vision on both. 80% chance to kill this one, 80%. We'll take the one that's closer. 
Yeah, dog. Great job, sort of. Um. Ammunition depleted. Eh, that doesn't surprise me. <sighs> okay, well, what do we got left down here? <laughs> That's maybe not the smartest move. Uh, but I'm going to take it because we still get to move in the meantime. And we do still have a shot. No, don't overwatch. You have a 100% chance to hit that one. You can't even shoot at the other one, apparently. Okay, cool. I guess we'll take our 100% chance on this one. Great job. Um, I do think maybe we throw Tiny Brick Studios down here. Have a reload. My thinking being that uh, she can throw down some fire next turn. And we'll do basically the same thing with all of our units. Zhang will be ready. I'm going to have him reload because I don't think he's getting hit this turn. Um, it, oh, this is our squatty. I think we're going to be completely fine. You can probably overwatch. Unless there's a fish that pops behind us. I'm not too concerned about this turn. Two chrysalids doesn't bother me because we still have several rockets. If that ends up being the course of action we have to take, then that's the course of action we have to take. Nice hits. We do need to kill these units because... If we don't, I mean, they, they just keep coming closer to us. As long as they're never able to hit us, though, that's that's the important part. Okay, that's that's a little a bit of an issue. I won't, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Um, here's what you do about this one, though. To that location. We could have kinetic fisted it, but I wanted to make sure we were still moving along as well. So you shoot up a frag grenade here. Guaranteed kill. Oh, what is that, like our 18th chrysalid killed? You've only got one shot, so you better... You better be happy to take it wherever it is. Um, I think you actually come down here and probably take a pot shot with the laser pistol. Roka! Hey, buddy. You sense uh, your boy's in distress? I mean, I'm not really in distress, but I... Could feel better. Oh, Zhang can get a kill. I think it's better for him to get a kill than take a move. We still got five turns. If he misses this 94% chance to hit, I will not miss him as I fire him from the squad. Great job, team. This one is finished. All right, kind of do like a little roll call. How are our units doing here? Might as well put you further back so you can actually take a shot next turn. Uh, and also have moved recently. Move it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll call complete. Everybody's feeling good. On my way. Making big moves, reloading big guns. That's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. Yo, these jokers are a little close, though. Oh no, more chrysalids. Right, Ruka? Right, Ruka? You can't be up here, buddy. You can be down on the floor, and you can lay in your box. Strike one. That airstrike is closing in your position. You need to get to the evac point before it's too late. All we need to do is basically stall for one more turn. It doesn't really make sense to me to take a shot as uh, with Loki. So the guaranteed movers are actually our mech. We can always land a grenade with him. The mech needs... We just want people to be close enough to be able to get on the... Uh, get on the uh, ship in the next set. In the, ne the next turn. And definitely, like, our support was already there. The reason I'm not moving the heavies yet is because there's a chance... that we could actually set up... Uh, a kill on both of these dickheads. I don't think this will result in us leaving Zhang behind. And it'll make a ton of space for the people behind him. Or in front of him, really. Great. 
What this actually allows us to do, because we only took a half turn with our other mech, or with our actual mech, I guess, is uh, fire another grenade in there. Which definitely cannot hit both units, which is a little scary. But if one's dead, the other one, we could probably put our units far enough away that it can't get to us, and then we just get to the drop zone. Well, no, that's not fair, because Zhang is definitely going to be, like, in the shit. But, Loki don't miss. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's got double tap. Okay, okay, good, good, good. That was a little scary. I just wanted to keep my ammo, just just in case, I guess. Come on, no, no chrysalid inside of this garage. That would be a real piss off. Um, you might as well honestly, like, be in the drop zone. Continue mission. That's an important one to not get the prompt wrong for. Okay. Everybody but Zhang is going to be able to get to the end on this one. And then Zhang gets in, and then this is like a flawless mission. Not to say that I didn't... I mean, okay, it's not literally flawless, because... I, I probably made some mistakes, but uh, nobody got touched. The closest we came was definitely that Overwatch with the, with the zombie. But uh, we're basically consequence-free. I'm hoping that it's a big panic reduction. And honestly, to handle Newfoundland on Classic this relatively easily, which is what it was, is a huge, like, boost to my confidence and morale. Been playing well recently. But, uh... Continue mission. Uh, been playing well recently, but this is, like, the cherry on top, for sure. I don't really care about there being more chrysalids. And for once, the Newfoundland mission actually just seemed, like, fine. <laughs> There have been times where I've gotten it in like a little bit earlier in the campaign, I think, and then you're like, oh fuck. This is like the this is the worst thing ever. And then all we gotta do is get Zhang in here. Zhang's a real hero. Cook is a real hero. Our sniper, outrageous. At least four or five kills by themselves alone here. Twenty-seven aliens killed. No operatives lost. No operatives hurt. I guess that's the bonus with that mission. I mean, you're not going to get, like... I guess you can get slashed by a zombie, but nobody's taking pot shots at you from across the map. Wow, that felt good. An exemplary performance. Thank you, Dr. Valen. An exemplary performance to you as well. As this one did. Counts plus 15 defense when in Overwatch. Shots from Overwatch no longer suffer any aim penalty. Well, no matter what, they have uh, 65 aim. Nearby allies, so oh, that's, that's normal. First plus 15 defense. Let's be honest. I'm using um, this unit. I'm using mechs mostly as bullet sponges. If they're going to be the target for enemies, enemy shots, having an extra 15% chance for those shots to miss seems huge. Tiny Brick Studios. Will to survive. Nice. Uh, makes my decision easy. Jane Cook. Going bullet swarm rocketeer, baby. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We need somebody else to help us uh, handle those cyber discs. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.